is the Mill Avenue Bridge here in Metro Phoenix. Is that how you got to the game tonight, Rob? No, I Or did you, did you come over with the crew team? No, I, is it a crew team? There? Come on. What, they had 90 days or so of... I don't even know how, how they have water. degree weather? Right. Yeah. We just, just ran over. You went for a run this morning in that heat. Yeah, 5.30 a.m. When, when, when it's wrong not with you? 100 degrees. 16-16. <laughs> John Ross. And he has a good return out to the 35. So Saturday night, Michigan is going to turn on the lights for the first time ever. Our friends at EA Sports know what that looks like already. Oh, man. Michigan and Notre Dame College Football presented by Hampton Hotels on ESPN and ESPN3 at 8 o'clock. You got Brent, Herbie, and Aaron up there at the big house with the lights on. Brian Kelly, by the way, 3 and over versus Brady Hope. Of course, that's back in the days of Central Michigan and Ball State in Mac play. Osweiler. And don't forget that uh, game day is going to be there at the big house also. Mike Wiley. So a second and eight here for Osweiler, the six foot eight quarterback, the tallest quarterback in the country. Cameron Marshall, look at Cameron Marshall go and just thunders his way short of midfield. He has really good balance. Good hands out of the backfield. Marshall, really the focal point of the rushing attack. So a new set of downs for Arizona State. And driven down to midfield that time by the defensive end, Brad Madison, who was second team all Big 12 last year, despite never starting, by the way. Led the team with seven and a half sacks. Of course, Alden Smith, star defensive end a year ago, was the number seven pick in the NFL draft by San Francisco. They had two top picks in last year's draft. Blaine Gabbard on the offensive side. Osweiler, this is Jamal Miles, and Miles is dangerous out in space, but they're able to contain him at the 45, thanks to EJ Gaines. Great open field tackle by Gaines. Is that Jaws now? Jaws is being symbol. Now the it, West Virginia sit. <laughs> you don't see another college off and up there. We no. saw Oregon. West Virginia is a tribute to Dana Holgerson. Yeah. As offensive coordinator Noel Mazzoni said, ah, we got to get a shout out to Dana there. Third and four. Quick strike and a first down. Good look to George Bell from Osweiler. That's a little bit of the Bill Walsh West Coast offense. The slant route being a big part of that offense. We move those linebackers, get inside the corner, and hit him in stride. And Dennis Erickson certainly familiar with that one-time coach of the 49ers. You know, I think Osweiler's got a very bright future. Oh, <laughs> how about his present? His present's not that bad either. Six foot eight, 240, great athleticism, and he can sling the ball. It's a Gonna set up for a trick play. Miles downfield, touchdown, Flugrad! came in. We're going to have to check on it. Yeah, Tess. Blue Grant was out of bounds. Before he made the catch, he made straight yeah. out of bounds. James did a nice job of pushing him out of bounds, which is legal. The first one is good. Whoa. So it stands. Miles to Flugrad. And 
and Garut adds the extra point. Earlier one was blocked. What a night for Aaron Flugrad. And the 60-yarder from Osweiler. And then on the back end of this. Watch down the field on the right side. You see Flugrad goes out of bounds. But he went out because Gaines pushed him out of bounds. Now when you go out voluntarily, you cannot be the first to touch the ball when you come back in. But if you're forced out, you can come back into play. It's a good explanation of that circumstance there as Dennis Erickson is trying to get Arizona State a win against a top 25 team. That would be the first time they've done that since Erickson's first season back in 2007. They beat number 18 Cal on that day. Here, number 21 Missouri is now trailing by seven.